is doing different exercises and throughout the workout. So that. And you'll know exercises aren't, or when you are putting in more effort. And when you're slacking off and you need to push yourself a little harder, okay? So sometimes. Good job. Now stay here and press it up through your thighs. This is the 
dynamic inner thigh stretch. Pressing the hips back, keeping the knees always behind those toes. Nice long spine. You can either stay here or for a little more, reach across to your opposite toe, reach that arm into the air. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, you got it, four, three, two, now hold it over to your left side, stretching that hands up through that inner thigh, roll it over, hip flexor, stay here, reach the Push energy back to that leg, try to make that leg straight as you stretch through that hip. Reach that back arm up to the sky. Good. And give me one deep breath. Lift your chest up. Reach the arms up overhead into your hip flexor stretch. Into that beautiful crescent pose. And now pivot your back foot, open the arms into warrior two. And now straighten the front leg and lower. Nice and slow. Straight. Right now, when you lower, make sure that knee stays over the ankle. And as you lower down, push energy back through the back leg. Feel that stretch across the hips. Two more. Hold it down. Turn the palm up. Reach back into reverse warrior, stretching this entire side and across your hips. Come back to warrior two. Windmill to the floor. Beginners go to your knees. Advance. Give me 10 slow, clean push-ups. Down, up. One, two, three, four, seven, five, six, seven, eight. You got it. Nine. One more. Now hold it here and take that same foot, that back foot, and bring it back to the front. And turn side to side. You got it. You know it. You have to do it all on the other side. And they call this a warm up. Roll it, hold it over there. Roll it over. Hip flexor. Press energy back through that back leg. Try to pull that kneecap up. Reach that arm up to the sky. Does that feel great? Okay. Lift your chest up. Both arms up to the sky. Sink into that hip flexor. Beautiful. Pivot your back foot down. Open up into warrior two. Brace the abs. Press the leg straight. Front leg straightens and lowers. Straighten and lower. Good job. Fantastic. Oh, oh. 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 We love a beautiful yeah. warrior too. Yes, feel that stretch across those hips. Two more. One more time. Hold it down. Turn the palm up. Reach it back into reverse warrior. And windmill to the floor. Mm -hmm. Yes, my friends. Ten more push ups. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Good job. Straighten the legs, push the hips back, bring the hands to the floor, hamstrings, dynamic, straighten the hips, hips up, straighten the legs, and down, press, four, and down, press, three, feel that stretch in the hamstrings, two, one more time, hands on your quads, and round the spine, and release, up and down, flexion of the spine, stretching that lower back, it feels so Good. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's all right. We're all the way up. Good job. Okay. Let's go. We are warming up. And we are ready to do this. Here we go. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready at home? Okay. Our first section is called metabolic boost. This is part one. We're going to do a circuit. We're going to repeat that circuit three times. First move is star jacks. Here we go all together. Tap the foot out to the side. So this is the modified, right? Now, take the arm, center. Next one, we go open, up, open, in. Yes. Now you can stay here, which is low impact, or you can take it up to a full jack. Five, you got it. Four, three, 
volleyball. Hands up. Stand just look the front. You gotta be the part. Okay. Shuffle across to your right. Two shuffles. Two. Block. One. Two. Block. Modify. Just don't jump. Follow back. Okay. I want eight more. Eight. All star team. Kids, turn on a diagonal, slowly tip from your hips, walk it forward, hands under your shoulders, start by going out, out, in, in, right, left, out, so this is the modified version right here, right, left, right, left, now high impact, both legs go out, plank tracks, head, Got it! 
<laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> I found your water bottle. <laughs> okay, next move. Shuffle with a block. Hands up. One, two, block. You can go. Run those. 
Seven. 
faster. Legs in a chair pose. I said it was cardio sculpt. Yeah, did we mention 600 calories? We did say 600 calories, right? We said that. So look at your heart rate monitor. Oh yeah. Winning. Inhale. Exhale. Sit back. Arms. Come in. Tap your leg. Back. In and to the side. Yes. Pop the arms like you're running. A little fast. Back. Side. So we're going to go right into a warrior three hold. Drive your weight into the heel. Still working with a nice strong leg. Squeeze the glute. Inhale the arms up. Exhale and tip over 90 degrees. Flex your back foot and reach energy through your arms, through your back leg. Brace your abs as tight as you can. Keep holding it there. Okay, keep holding it. Beautiful. You're working both the leg you're balancing on and the leg you're extending. Excellent. 
Reach up, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze the abs. Lengthen through your torso. You're doing great. You need four more. And we're going to add a little more. Two. Okay. Now, you can keep with those. Or you can go all the way up into your toes. Okay? And reaching the arms up. So adding that balancing factor in the relevant. You're going to get the calves. And you're going to get a little deeper into those legs. Slowly lower down. Press it up. 16. 2. Squeeze everything at the top. 3. Keep that chest up. 4. Squeeze it up. 5. 6. 7. Yes. Squeeze it up. 8. Yes. 9. 10. You're almost there. 11. 12. So remember, it's okay. You quiver a little bit. Each time you try to find your balance, you have, yeah, your muscles are just working harder. Okay, that's it. That's all that's happening. Just bring it down. We're going to go up into the skater. So just tap the foot behind. Reach the arm and cross. You got it. And just breathe through. Take a nice, nice wide step. Yes. Try to get a little lower. If you want, you can add a little bit of a hop. Let's do eight more. Eight, seven, six, good, five, four, three, two, excellent. We're going into our next sculpting move. It's a side lunge. Yes, so we're gonna step up to the left. It's okay, you got this. If you've never done a side lunge before, today's your day, baby. Step out to the left, push your butt back so that your weight goes behind you. You want to put the weight into the glutes. This leg is extended straight. So the most important thing on the side lunge is that that knee is behind the toe. We don't want to push our weight into the knee. We want to push our weight into the glute. Keeping the chest up tall. Then you push. Driving through the heel, you push using your glute to come back to standing. Okay? So nice and slow. Start with the hands here. Sit back. And push up. Sit back and push up. Now bring the arms with you. So it's like a little pendulum. Keeping the chest up. And if you want to make it a little more challenging, you can come all the way up to a knee up. Sit back. So this is four. Five. Good job. Six. Keep it going. Where is she going? We're going to do 20. You can do it. You're halfway there. I know. This is 11. Stay with me, baby. 12. 13. Yes. Finish it off. Come on. Chest up. Ass back. Five more. Chest up. Push your butt. This is it. You only have to do one set. One more time. Nine. for a reverse lunge, and then drive through the heel and come back up. So now you're working the glute on the other leg. I'm not working every day. Yeah. <laughs> now the arms punch forward, abs tight, and down. Uh, you want more of a challenge? You bring it up to a knee up. You want more of a challenge? Make it a front kick. <sighs> Let's go eight more. Come on. Down. Up. Seven. Six. Beautiful. Five. Four. Three. Two. Good job. Finish it right here. Nice. Now shake it up. You got this. You got this. Okay, nice and slow, let's set up, feet together, right leg steps out to the right, 
remember the form, butt goes back, knee behind the toe, chest up, drive to the heel, push through the glute, and come back up. Bring the arms with you. Sit back. If you want to lift the knee, you go right ahead. Yes. So I still this move. Um, I think my bikini will get to work out.
Oh, this spot feels a little weaker. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Can you say legs, baby? Legs. Ten. Yeah. And arms. Four. All of it. Five more. Yeah. Five. Four. Three. Two. One more. And good job. Okay. You know. I want to give you everything I got. <laughs> Pour my whole heart out to you. So we're going to do 10 burpees. Let's 
Let's go on to that core. So in that move, you got a lot of upper body. You also got that core. V ups. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, decline. Isometric. We're gonna hold the core nice and tight. Arms on your side. Modified, you can stay here, or you can lift the knees up. Either option for modified. Inhale the arms up to your side. Exhale, open to your side. Hold it here. Stomach tight. A little more challenge? Yeah. Straighten those legs. Reach towards your toes and hold this here and breathe out. Eight. Energy through the legs. Squeeze the core tight. Four. Breathe out. Three. Breathe out. Two. One. Good job. Okay, bring your feet together. Open your knees for a butterfly stretch. Just feel that stretch in your hips and your lower back. After you do that core work, you usually get really tight in the low back and the hips. So just stretch it out. You don't always have to wait to the end of the workout to stretch. You can stretch all the way through. Good job. Legs straight in front. Arms to the side. We're going to twist. Inhale. Imagine there's a string pulling the crown of your head, lengthening your spine. Reach through the fingertips. Exhale towards the front. Two little pulses. Inhale. Exhale. So you're working your postural muscles, just having to hold yourself upright. Because we do this all day, a lot of us sitting at a desk, we have to reverse that posture and get ourselves up nice and tall. One, two, inhale, exhale, four more, inhale, exhale, three more, inhale, exhale, two more. One more time. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to take it onto our backs. And get some ab work in a little bit more. We have been working abs, so let's just keep it going. Hands behind your head. Pelvis tilts slightly towards us, so you feel the yeah, abs work. I know, we burn over 600 calories. I get it. Shoulders. <laughs> My watch talks to me. So he's like, you've reached your goal. Hands between your thighs. And pulse here. One, two, three. Even Siri knows it's here. Yes. 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 Eight, nine, keep pulsing, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, two more. Good job, guys. We're going to pulse those upper fibers. Stack your knees up over your hips. Good. Now place your hands behind your head. Lift your shoulders up so you brace those abs nice and tight. And we're just going to alternate a tap. So the right foot tap. Uh, and then the left foot, <laughs> and up, and right, so your legs are working as a weight on the lower transverse abdominis. You want to make sure your lower back always stays in contact with the mat. That's how we know the abs are braced and they're working, and you're pulling that stomach in nice and flat. So never do we want to arch the back. So when I see people arch the back and they put their hands underneath, this is not working your abs because your hands are under here. You have to bring that pelvis into neutral, brace those abs, and keep your abs flat on the back, on the ground. Now lower down. Now we're going to make it a little harder by extending the legs straight. So straighten those legs. This is it. Home stretch. You got this. Hands on your head. Shoulders up. Stomach nice and tight. Slowly look. Lower down, the front leg, and up, and the back leg, so tight. And if you want to add in a little more of the obliques, you just bring the elbow across to the opposite knee. And we're going to go 16, 15, you got this, it's the home stretch, 14, 13, breathe it out. 